My name is uh, Kyle Erickson. I am a senior support specialist for Practice Velocity. Um, maybe we've got some questions about ePrescribe, our functionality with ePrescribe, and our vendor, um, New Crop. Um, mainly questions pertaining to failed or delayed prescriptions, either not reaching the pharmacy at all, or in, you know, in some cases having a 15, 20, 30 minute delay sometimes in reaching its destination. So I'd actually like to dive in with you guys and show you how you can actually resolve this issue or problem without in some cases getting a hold of us. Um, so I'd like to dive in and show you guys that today. So you'll see that I'm already in the patient's chart and I'm on the AMP tab. Now the, in the AMP tab you'll go under medications and then launch prescription window. And now keep in mind the prescriber or someone with prescribing privileges is gonna have to do this. So when you launch the prescribing window, it's gonna open up in a patient's under Compose RX, almost as if you're putting in a, a new medication. So it's gonna show their current meds and any previous or discontinued medications. So to fix though the issue that we're having in the sense that um, this pharmacy, a pharmacy called and said, we never got the, you know, we never got the prescription that you told the patient you sent over. To fix that issue, is we'll find this patient's current medication that you sent. I'm gonna click on this little magnifying glass right next to edit. This little magnifying glass actually takes us and shows us the status of this medication in terms of how it was filled out, when it was finalized, who did it, things like that. And then you'll also see the transmission log um, a little bit below that. And the transmission log is the area that we're looking for. So you'll see it shows that I printed this medication and you also see that I attempted to electronically fax this medication. Now it gives the status and whether it was Q. Um, now the next part after this would be a successful medication send. Um, if it failed, it would have a status failure and it would give a detail, a message that's indicating why that may have failed. If it did fail, you would see another option on here that says report failed prescription. And when you do that, that actually sends out an alert or almost like a message to New Crop, our vendor, who investigates why that prescription failed. Once they have the results of that investigation, they send that back to us and support in an email, and then we contact the clinic staff or the provider themselves and let them know what the results of that investigation were. Now, the instance we're gonna show you right now is report missing prescription, because this requires a little bit more entry of data. You click on report missing prescription, it takes you to the next screen where it wants a little bit more in terms of who you contacted by, the patient or the pharmacy. If it was someone from the pharmacy, what was that person's name? And then what did the pharmacy or patient say? Was it delayed? Did it not make it at all? And then you hit report missing RX. Similar to a failed prescription, that data is sent over to New Crop, who then investigates that as well. And similar also to failed prescription, they send us back the results of that investigation and then we get with the clinic staff or the provider and let them know what they found. So that is ePrescribe um, in terms of handling some of the most common issues or problems um, with missing or failed prescriptions. Um, if you guys have any questions or need a further walkthrough, um, please reach out to us over at customer support. Um, at our phone number 866-995-9863. Um, our email is directly at customer support at practicefilosity.com where either myself or one of my teammates will be more than happy to help you out. Hope this was helpful for you guys and you guys have yourself a good one.